Witnesses say they saw a boy fighting with a man in a car on the day Daniel Morecambe disappeared. As evidence continued in the case, another said a boy claiming to be Daniel spoke to him almost a year after he disappeared. Ursula Hager has more. Bruce and Denise Morecambe are proud Daniel's memory has changed the way Queenslanders react to children in trouble. I'm sure people are more observant because of Daniel's case. Uh, you know, technology's improved these days. You know, everyone has a camera in their pocket on their phone and, uh, you know, they're, they're more observant. The seventh day of Brett Peter Cowan's committal hearing heard evidence of a child fighting with a man on the day Daniel disappeared. Belinda Russell was driving with her husband when she saw a man violently restraining a person in the back seat. She said, we saw arms and a shoe come up in a defensive action. It was similar to what Andrew Jackson saw as he drove towards Caloundra that same day. The child was fighting quite vigorously against the adult, he told the court. But Mr Jackson said he couldn't recall what the car looked like. So of course there's going to be discrepancies, um, simply because there has been such a great deal of time uh, between um, their observations and them giving evidence today in court. The Morecams were also in court to hear a Port Macquarie local who says a boy approached him asking for help almost a year after Daniel disappeared. As he was going, he said, my name is Daniel Morecam. He might have said it twice. Evidence from the final two identification witnesses for this year will be heard on Thursday. Brett Peter Cowan had applied to the magistrate to appear via video link, but was denied. The funeral for Daniel will be held this Friday. Ursula Hager, 10 News.